Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chili here, and we got another Chainsaw Man Tuesday today. First, let's talk about Chainsaw Man Episode 6. And what a intense episode, you know? Our team of Devil Hunters got stuck on Hallway 8 or Level 8, you could say. And I guess that it is that freaking head demon he killed uh, that made him stuck. It's like a very, because they're all freaking out. Definitely, um, uh, Kobe, Kobe and, uh, Hirokoshu, Hir Hirokoshu, Koshu, uh, those, basically the other two devil hunters they come with. Kobe was freaking out, man. She was literally like, oh man, we're gonna die. What we're gonna do? Freaking out. They have knocked her out like twice in this episode. Calm her. Calm down. Uh, Kimino was calm until the end. Um, Denji is Denji. He was actually chilling this whole moment. He, he took a nap. So, man, wake me up. I'm, it's cool. We're we're stuck when no basically time doesn't change around us. So I'm gonna take a little nap and calm down. Denji's cool like always. Uh, he's a little weirdo sometimes, but Denji's cool. Same thing with Aki. Aki was cool too, man. He just he's trying to do his job, trying to figure out a way out of this. And powers, power, powers. <laughs> she was already trying to figure uh plan a future ahead, like. We're gonna win the I'm gonna win the Nobel Prize in the future <laughs> once I get out of here. And even then just, yeah, that's power. She she always does that. <laughs> she thought it was weird. Um, but yeah, everyone it was just a kind of like a tense episode, trying mystery, how we gonna get out of this, how we gonna figure out. So the devil, the big old head devil, came out and said, Hey, kill Denji for me, and I'll let, I'll make a contract with you guys and you guys live. Everyone will live. Just kill Denji for me. And obviously the two uh, normal devil hunters, Kobe, uh, Hirokoshu, I forget, uh, not Hirokoshu, uh, Hirokozu, Hirokozu, I keep forgetting his name, but, yeah, the two other ones, uh, Himeno, Balanaki, basically, um, she follows her partner, Aki doesn't want Denji killed, and we'll get to that moment in his power, <laughs> she wanted to kill Denji, she said, let's get out of here and everything, she didn't care, but, half feeling it's kind of like, like I said, the joking brother-sister type, you know? Uh, she probably won't really do it. Like, she won't really kill, De um, um, Denji. Like, like I say, you really don't see her, like, she will, she could have fought him. She could have fought him and killed him, but it, it wouldn't have worked. A devil can't make, uh, I guess two devils can't make a contract. It has to be a human that kills him to get out. That's what we got explained. And we learned that devils can't break contract even. When they say contract, we'll make a contract. They can't break it. If anyone breaks that contract, they, whoever broke the contract dies. So, now we learn a little bit of something. But we obviously see the, in this episode, we see the um, bond between Himino and Hakim. How they d develop a good partnership and how close they are. They don't want to see each other die. Definitely Himino doesn't want to see Hakim die. Um, she likes him a lot. Uh, that's how Hakim developed that smoking habit because of her. Uh, even was kind of like a, a close bondship that you see Hakim when the, I guess her former partner, Humano's partner, wife, or girlfriend, slapped her because I guess she wanted to take her anger out on somebody. He took her hang anger out on her, and I, I, he didn't like that, put some gum on her. <laughs> and she laughed, and she liked that. I guess she never had a partner like her, like him, and respected him and all that stuff. So it just, and it's cool. This one made me actually me a little more shit him because everyone in the end started wanting to follow the plan to kill Denji. Because the devil said, I'll let you go. It's getting worse and worse and worse. We all live in Denji. And he even, he even got, uh, gave into it because Aki was going to use his sword. The sword that was always behind his back. I guess if he if he does use that sword, half his life span will go away. And Himo doesn't want that. She wants Aki to live a long life. She's a great goal for him. Um, and she even gave in the plan saying, I'll kill Denji before I'll let Aki die. So she followed in the plan. Everyone was about to kill him till Aki jumped in the way of a knife from Kobe's knife and uh, kind of like sacrificed himself in a way. Well, he didn't die, but he put his life in front of um, Denji because now we see the bond growing between Denji and Aki because Aki explains why he wants to keep Denji so alive because he has the same goals as Aki now. She, he wants to kill the gun devil as Denji wants to kill the den gun devil. He needs all the help. He needs a uh, crazy dude like him, crazy, a hunter, devil hunter like him to go after the, the gun devil. That's the main goal. That's a big baddie right now. Um, 
So um, that changed Denji's view too. Like, uh, like you know, he has a great friendship. Uh, he, he has a, a bro now, like a homie now, friend. Like, wow, do you you jumped them blade for me. You're the, everyone was about to give in and kill me for this devil, but you're the only one. That's why we get honorable Denji now mode. He's going to fight. I wonder why he didn't do it sooner, but maybe because he does hurt the chain, like he said, hurt the chain on uh, changing the chainsaw. But now he has two goals. He wants to do this for Akeem, uh, kill this devil that he's about to fight. Um, because he jumped right in front of Blade. He said, I'm gonna, I don't want to be, I don't want to be in debt with you. So I'm gonna kill this devil for you too. But he's doing it also for Humo's kiss. <laughs> So that's great with Denji's character, but it sucks. This is the worst part of the episode. Right when Denji jumped off that uh, edge and right into the devil's mouth, um, he changed into a chainsaw and he cut into next week. Like, really? Oh, my God. Uh, we don't know if Denji's going to be okay. Is anyone going to help him? Is, is he going to kill this devil? We're all left in the mystery. And he le this show loves to leave in a perfect moment. Leave us in a perfect moment to want it more. Always want more. And that's what sucks. <laughs> like every time, each episode, this show leaves us wanting more. That's what's so great about Chainsaw Man and a pain in the ass as well. Because like, damn, I want more now. I want more now. Not next Tuesday, I want more now. <laughs> that's how I felt after watching this episode. But what a crazy episode, a lot of Literally crazy. A lot of people were nuts in this episode. Uh, it was cool to see more character develop between Aki, uh, Humino, Denji. Uh, power still the same. Power is power. And learning some of the other characters, the other Devil Hunters, Kobe, and uh, I'm not even going to say the name, the other guy. <laughs> he seems like a bystander in a way. He doesn't seem that big of a character yet. Mostly Humino and um, obviously the main one, Aki, Power, Denji. Maybe Kobe too. And she's kind of annoying, you know, annoying a little bit right now. But I have a feeling she might develop maybe something better. Who knows? We'll see. But comment below what you think of Chainsaw Man Episode 6. And how you liking the show so far. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts. Please comment below. I'd like to talk to you. Some nerd stuff. But thank you all for watching again. We got, we're, went through another Chainsaw Man Tuesday. If you're already caught up with the manga, go check out my other review on Chainsaw Man. The, uh, chapter, I forgot what chapter was. I think 111, I think it is. Um, there's a manga every Tuesday, too, of Chainsaw Man. Go check that out, man. The manga is a little ahead of an anime show, but it's head on. It's been getting some crazy stuff. Definitely, I got done reading. I'm going to make a video right now, but go check out my video once I post it. But thank you all for watching again. Have a good day, good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.